Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and good. Um, I'd just like to say um, thank you for all the love and support on my first video. That was so much appreciated and it is so scary but so exciting at the same time putting yourself out there. So I really do appreciate the, all the love and support. Um, so I thought for my second video I would do my everyday makeup routine. So I'd just like to say I'm not a makeup artist in the slightest. Um, I am just a girl sat in her bedroom who loves playing with makeup. Um, so yeah, I am no makeup artist. Even if you guys want to give me tips and tricks in the comments or any recommendations, please do. Just because I am probably not the best person at doing makeup, but I just love doing it and I find it so much fun and relaxing, if that's the right word. I find doing makeup quite relaxing. I am wearing um, a Christmas jumper, but it's so comfy and so like, I just love the fit of it. It's so baggy and oversized. And at the moment with us being in lockdown, with it even being a Christmas jumper, I'm still going to wear it because it's so comfy. And I see so many people at the moment wearing, like, their Christmas PJs on Instagram. And I'm like, you do you. Like, seriously. If you want to wear your Christmas PJs and me wear a Christmas jumper, if it makes you happy, then you might as well do it. So, um, yeah. So, let's get into the video and I'll show you my everyday makeup routine. And hopefully, I can make something better of my face because it's... I wasn't graced in the department of the best skin. At the moment, it doesn't look too bad, but usually it's like, sometimes I can't even get makeup on it. So I'm glad today it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I have already prepped my skin with the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factor HA Moisturiser. And I am obsessed with this. I have only recently just got my hand hold, hands on this. Um, I'm not that equipped on um, face skincare. Um, I've only just started to like proper look into it and do my research and what's good for your skin um, just because I have really dry skin and I used to not really take good care of it and I used to just use the Nivea I love the Nivea I love Nivea but I wore it that much that I feel like when you wear something so much it starts to stop working so um, I wanted to give something else a go so if anyone has any good recommendations and like moisturizers, serums, face wash or anything like that Put them down in the comments and I can give them a go and try them out for you guys. Um, because I am always looking for recommendations for anything. So if you've got any, pass them my way. So yeah, um, the next thing I'm going to do is prep my skin with my primer. So I use two primers. Um, I use the One Heck of a Blot Primer by Soap and Glory. And then the Pore Professional Pore Primer by Benefit. And then the two primers that I use, I'll use the Soap and Glory one all over my face and then I'll use the Pore Professional one in my T-zone. Um, so yeah, and I just use them and put them on with a brush. So I just use, I think it's called a stippling brush, I'm not sure. Um, it just says on it, it is a Royal Ang Lang Nickel stipple, Stripler brush. So I think it's like, is it a stripler brush? Is that what it's called? A stippler, stripler brush? I think it was called, it's one of these brushes. I got them in the set when I first ever started wearing makeup. Um... And I just always kept them. I'm cons I'm obsessed with buying brushes, but do I know what they're for? Probably not. Probably use them for the wrong different products. But there you go. You live and you learn. So yeah, I just put this all over my face. It's got I've got quite red rosy cheeks at the moment. So hopefully my foundation like balances all that out. But yeah, I didn't used to believe in primer. I never used to wear it. But then I felt like my face makeup didn't stay on. And then I used to watch like YouTube tutorials and everyone would like rave about primer. So I thought I'd give it a go. And then I tried the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, that one. And I became obsessed with this. Obsessed with it. I literally hit pan. I need to get a new one of them. Um, but that is so good. But then I've recently been loving these two together as a combination. Um, yeah, and now I feel like if I don't wear primer on my face, I just, I don't know, I just feel a bit weird not wearing it. So I'm obsessed with these two together. But any good recommendations on primers as well? Because I'm not the best. I've heard that like the milk one, is that, is it called milk? Milk? I think the brand's called Milk. That's a good primer. Um, I'd love to try the Bobbi Brown one. But I've checked the ingredients and I'm allergic to it. So I'm so gutted about that. Um, the face, is it called the face base little pot? The like yellow pot. I've always wanted to try that. But I checked the ingredients and I'm one go and I'm allergic. So I'm gutted that I can't have that. But 
these other alternatives which probably just as hopefully as good as that but that is the primer on yeah and i wasn't great with the best skin so hopefully all this together will make it a little bit better so um the next thing i'm gonna do is put my foundation on so the foundation that i use is the Too Faced born this way um foundation in the shade snow that one and i'm obsessed with this i think i first saw like jacqueline hill and james charles use this and i became obsessed and then i know my friend used it and i just absolutely love it and i'm just using it on a morphe brush like an angled brush i love these sort of brushes i didn't used to wear it with a brush um, I started to, I used to use it with a beauty blender, but I just love the coverage that it gives off on a brush. And then I'll go over at the end with a beauty blender just to get rid of like all the brush strokes and things like that. I don't know if this is the right brush to put your foundation on or if I put my foundation on correct with a brush. It's just, I feel like I always end up with brush strokes. So I love always going on it over the top of it with a beauty blender just to make sure it's nice and smooth. But yeah, this is such a nice foundation. It's just so, for my skin anyway, with having dry skin, it just fits so perfectly. Um, do my double chin, gotta do the neck to make sure it's balanced. But yeah. Just look at that compared to the side. And then I'll just take my beauty blender. Also then you can know like with a beauty blender, I know it gets rid of like some of the product a little bit. So like now you can see, after I've used the beauty blender, you can now see my redness. Then I can go over again with the brush. But yeah. I'm obsessed with this foundation. But I would like to try out new foundations. That's why I feel like this gives me a chance um, to try out new makeup. And just broaden my horizons a little bit more. Just be a bit more creative with my makeup. Just because I'm just like, I'd love to be able to do a colour look on my eyes, which I probably am going to try soon um, and give it a go. It's just, I know I'm just not the best at it. Like, I already know that. So I will give it a go. It's just you guys may be there to watch me not do it very well. <laughs> like I said, I have no makeup artist at all. I only started wearing makeup when like, I, f I began, I What's the right word? I only started wearing makeup when I became friends with like my closest friend now. She used to wear makeup and she just got me so obsessed with it. Like when we used to go out, I'd love to sit there for like hours just sitting there doing my makeup and eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes. I have got so many just because that is my foundation done. Yes, yeah, so with eyeshadow palettes, I used to go out and just buy so many just because I became so obsessed with eyeshadow. Um and I still am, like I still am, but I've got that much of a collection now that I'm like, ah, I don't know where to put it, but I haven't, I've got, I think I've got like over like 20 palettes and I probably use like the same two every day. So I do need to like, I'm glad that I've started this journey just to give it a go of like trying new makeup routines out and trying new makeup because the majority of them in there, I bought them and I probably haven't even used them. And the concealer that I am using today is the... Too Faced Balmers Bay Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is the most... I am obsessed with this concealer. So I'm absolutely obsessed with the Too Faced um, concealer. But um, I feel like it is quite light for me. So I do need to get quite a dark a shade that matches my skin tone a little bit better. So for that case, I use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade... 322 Ivory. And then I'll just put these over a few of my blemishes. Now just take my beauty blender and just blend that all in. God, I pulled such a beautiful facial expressions. My friend messaged me after my first video being like, Shannon, your facial expressions make me laugh so much. And I'm like, 
thank you. <laughs> I do pull such funny facial expressions. So under my under eyes, I will just take my finger um, just to blend it in just a little bit. Um, just because I feel like it blends so much better and you get so much more coverage with your finger sometimes. So I'll just take my finger just to start off the blend and then I'll take my beauty blender and just go under it again just to make sure it's all smooth underneath there. And then with the rest of it, I will just take on my lids. So because for an everyday makeup look, I don't really go heavy on my eyes. Um, but I still like when I do my eyeshadow, a little bit of a base. So that will be my like my eyeshadow base there. And that is my concealer done. So from that bit, I have not blended. The only thing with this concealer, it dries down so quickly. You need to like be like pounding your face with the beauty blender. But yeah, I'm obsessed with it still. And the next thing I'm going to do is my bronzer. So I like to do some cream bronzer and I like to use Revolution London. I think this is a foundation stick. The little engravings rubbed off, but I think it's a foundation stick or a con contour stick. Foundation stick. I like to use this for my bronzer and you can tell I like it because I am literally scraping out it because I've used so much of it. And I'll just take a little crown 3515 brush and just put that where I usually contour. Like so. You see, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Like this is how I've just always done it well i watch so many people's youtube channels on makeup and i'm still trying to get tips myself but yeah after i've just put it on my skin i will take my brush that i use for my foundation just to blend that in because i feel like it blends in so nicely with a brush just on the high point of my cheeks And also because like I've still got foundation on this brush, it just blends it in so nicely. But yeah, you'll have to um, give me some recommendations of what YouTubers you guys like to watch. And then I can have a look. Um, because I am obsessed with watching like makeup tutorials and like people's channels like i i started off with watching like jacqueline hill and james charles and that's why i became a bit obsessed with makeup just because they're so amazing at it and they're just so talented like i've got both their palettes from morphe and they're just so beautiful like amazing now i just take a beauty blender just to make sure i've got no streaks but yeah they are literally amazing at makeup i'm obsessed then I'm just going to do my bronzer and I use the Hula Caramel by Benefit Bronzer. This is such a lovely shade. I got this for my birthday of my friend and I've become obsessed with it. And then I'm just taking my Morphe brush and angled brush just to do my bronzer. Um, I just like to warm it up on the back of my hand just because I feel like it's so pigmented. And I love a pigmented bronzer but sometimes if you do it too pigmented on my face I feel like it goes on too heavy and then I can't blend it out. So with this brush, I'll just take it from the high points of my cheek, like that, a little bit. So I just tap it on. And it's just such a beautiful shade, it's so warm. And just put it on my forehead as well. Some people's YouTube, so like Jordan Whitskin, Self Just Life, Jamie, the one that Jamie Jenny, the one that's just come out with her um her own makeup brand. I would love to try that. Um, but I've got that tip where she does it, where she does it in her eyelids. I'm obsessed with that. And then I just blend it all in. I just love how it looks and i love how i do it so high so then it like lifts up my cheekbones a little bit and then i will do my blusher and the blusher that i use is l'oreal life's a peach blusher this smell 
of this plush hair is insane. Oh, it's going over my nose. It is beautiful. I I'm absolutely obsessed with this blusher. It is beautiful. I'm going to take a, another Morphe brush, just like this. And I love a big brush for blusher because I'm obsessed with it. So I'll just put it on the high point. On my cheeks. I love a peachy blusher. And I'll just bring it up a little bit higher. I feel like it shapes your face so much better. Don't worry about the shade though, because I know I look a bit crazy at the moment. But I feel like blusher is the first thing that like disappears off your face after you've like done it so yeah i'm obsessed with this blusher it's just so pretty i'm obsessed with it okay so i'm now going to do my eyebrows and i've had such a journey with my eyebrows they're not the best shape at this moment um i did a little derm was it dermablading little shaving thing on your face get around little off your face and I shaved that accent in the front of my eyebrow off so it is just growing back just a little bit um so I use the precisely my brow pencil in the shade four and then I also use the little gimme brow in the shade one so yeah I just use this in in the front and just to shape my brow and then I use that just for the color payment of it I think it's so pigmented that little gimme brow um so I'm just take my little mirror just so I can see a bit more clearly um, so yeah, I just like to trace the front of my eyebrow and then just follow the shape of it. I haven't had the best journey with my eyebrows. I've gone from like not knowing how to shape them, to having block ones, to literally having no eyebrows and not being able to like draw anything on them just because I shaved them off by accident. So yeah, I'm just like, I feel like the finally not the best eyebrows but they're finally getting where i feel like i want them to be especially this one this one used to literally be like a line that was nothing there um what are you guys doing in lockdown what movies are you watching um i've just watched the bridgerton i am obsessed with it obsessed such a good program oh my god i didn't realize how good it was and everyone was like watch it and then my dad was like no it doesn't look like for me and then i watched it and i was like oh, it's amazing i love the characters in it and who knew that the daf the daphne character's character is sally webster's daughter in real life on coronation street i was like ah! oh my god what a proud daughter moment how amazing that's so good like good for her like she's an amazing actress Following them like a mum's footsteps, it's so beautiful. I love when people do that. Yeah, they're my eyebrows. They're very like bushy at the moment, which I don't mind because I'm quite into the bushy scene. I'd love to try those laminated brows. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people have laminated brows, but I'm so scared that my eyebrows are just going to fall off. But I love the look of them. So maybe one day I'll go get them done and I'll, I'll, I'll take you guys along with me. And then I'll just take the gimme brow i feel like this gives such a nice color i just love it so i do always like to take a a bit of my concealer um just to outline my eyebrows just to make sure they're all symmetrical not symmetrical blended and then i just use the morphe m432 brush it's like a really flat brush and i'm obsessed with this brush to carve out my eyebrows it's just so good i have been trying to watch like try and stop watch christmas films because i said i was wearing a christmas jumper but i'm also still watching christmas films which you're free to judge me on that because it's the middle of nearly february it's like the nearly february and i'm still watching christmas films so i don't know but then i'm also like we're in lockdown of course i can watch christmas films but really in my head i'm like shannon shan hun what are you doing so yeah they're my eyebrows and then the next thing i will do is my eyeshadow so i leave my concealer to set and sink into my skin before i powder it down with powder um so yeah i don't know if that's the right thing to do but i quite like the look of it um, and then i'm just going to take 
a Real Techniques Multi Eye Brush. The palette I am going to use today is the Beauty Bay Fiery Palette and I got this just before Christmas in December and I have become obsessed with it. Look at those shade combinations, they are beautiful and this shade is beautiful. But because I'm wearing pink, I feel like I wanna go for like a pinky look. So I might go for a bit of pink. Yeah, go for a bit of pink. Third shade is Peaches and Cream, this shade here. Such a lovely transition shade. And I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade. So my eye look, for my natural everyday look, I do change it up between a pink and a brown. I'm such a pinky brown. It depends on what I'm going to wear. Um, and as I'm only sitting in the house today, I'm just going to have a bit of pink. So I'm just going to wear this. I'm just going to have a bit of pink and just relax a little bit. Yeah, but for my next video, guys, if you'd like to see, um, comment down below if you'd like to see. But I'm thinking of buying some, like, all-new drugstore makeup. Um, and doing like a first impressions on a video for you guys just because i need some new makeup i need to try some new makeup that i just haven't tried um just because i feel like i'm constantly using the same stuff and um, the next color i'm gonna take is burnt burnt sienna that's quite a nice name isn't it this color here yeah that's beautiful But I love wearing shades like this. It's just a bit, my eye colour on the day will genuinely just depend on what I'm wearing. So I'm obsessed with this colour. And sometimes I might just use one colour. Um, with this colour, I might just use this colour on the crease. And then like do a matte shade on the middle. Just because I really like that look at the moment. But it's just like one colour everywhere. And then like a matte, like... One shade all over the crease and then like a matte colour on the lid. This is also another reason why I do set my powder um, after I've done my eyeshadow. Just because I can then, if I need to, clean it up with concealer again. And I don't feel like it disturbs the powder I've put on my face. So yeah, I love that. And I'll do my other eye. At the moment, I've been like re-watching like... Hannah Montana movie, the Hannah Montana movie and like the, all the high school musicals and things like that and um Undercover with Miley Cyrus in it and things like that. I just love like Mean Girls and just love chick flick movies and comedies. I'm just obsessed with them. They're just so good. I think I'm just going to leave my eyes like that. I like the colour of it but I do have like a, diff like a darker. Mm. I might just have a bit of a dark. On the like a little bit of the outer crease. Gives it a bit more definition, I think. I love doing other people's makeup though. Like I love doing my friend's makeup. She like I did her makeup for her 21st. I'm obsessed with doing her makeup and her eyebrows and things like that. I love doing people's makeup. I remember when I went to Liverpool for my um 20th birthday and I literally before we went out, I literally spent like the whole of like afternoon doing all their makeup and then did mine so yeah i absolutely love it and then i'm just going to take this elf eyebrow brush like this and just get the same shade i used on my crease um at the start and um, which is the peaches and cream and i'm just going to put this all over my lid i really like this shade I just think it suits really nicely. Love it. Take the all that glitter. I take a smaller brush and just put this in my inner corner because this is such a beautiful shade. It is so beautiful. Like, look at that. When it says all that glitter, it literally means all that glitter. And it's quite yellowy gold glitter. Now my eyes, and I'll just take my beauty blender and just go underneath them again. Just to clean up a little bit. Just 
sorry about my sniffles i've got a bit of like a cold at the moment which doesn't really help when you're watching a video and someone's like <laughs> but it's not like you're gonna help it but i'm trying to convince my boyfriend henry to do a video with me just because he is the most fussiest eater and um, i have allergies myself but he himself who doesn't literally isn't allergic to anything he is the most fussiest eater and or anything so all he likes to eat is like chicken nuggets and chips or sausage and chips or scampi and chips or like chicken and rice and that's all he eats so i thought it'd be a really good video idea um for us to do a video where we swap diets for the day um so if you'd like to see that give this video a like and then i can convince him to do the video with me because i feel like I'd love to do that video. I'd love to give him pizza just because he absolutely doesn't like pizza. And who doesn't like pizza? Like me. I love pizza. I'm going to just take my powder and pop that under my eyes. And I love this powder. It is the Sweet Peaches Powder by Too Faced. And it is oh, the smell. It's that one. The smell is to die for. I'm going to just put it all over my nose and on my chin. And I usually use this Laura Mercier Power Puff. Is that what it's called? Power Puff? To blend in my powder. Because I think ever since I've started to use this, I feel like my powder goes on so differently. I just love it. So yeah, I'm obsessed. And as you see, I am obsessed with Too Faced and all their products. This is why I feel like doing this YouTube channel would give me some chance to like broaden my horizons, like I said before. Just because I am constantly using like Too Faced products. It is absolutely amazing and stunning, this powder and the foundation and the concealer. I would just love to give something else a go. The next thing I'm going to be doing is my highlighter. So I use two highlighters just because they're both, um, one's a bit too dark for me and one's a bit too light. So I mix them together and I absolutely love it. So I use the Pro Fusion Strobe Highlighter Power Duo and I obsess with this shade here, the gold shade. And then I also use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. And I think that's just very pink for me. So I am obsessed with, um, I'm obsessed with mixing them together and the brush that I like to use with this is the Crown C530 brush and it's just such a good highlighter brush. So I'll take a little bit of the Wet n Wild one and just tap off the excess and then I'll take a little bit of the bronze one out of the strobe one and I'll just put them together and just look at that. I am obsessed. And on top of my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm obsessed. And I'll just do the same the other side of my Fair Beauty Blender again and just. How big is this Beauty Blender? My friend got it me as like a little surprise. Um, I think it's a real technique sponge actually, but I always end up calling them beauty blenders. But um, she got it me as a little surprise in the first lockdown. She turned over my house, social, dis social distance, of course, but with like a little gift bag with one of these and some eyelashes in it and things like that. And it was just so big. I've never seen one this big before, but I'm obsessed. I feel like it fits my face so much. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to do my under eyes. I am such a under eye eyeshadow person. If that makes any sense, like the under, the waterline, I love eyeshadow in there. So I'll just take the first shade that I used again, which is Peaches and Cream. And then I'll just take the first shade that I use, which is this one here, which is Burnt Sienna on my under eye. Just because I don't want it to be too extreme. And I just look up and I'm obsessed with under eye. But I've never tried that Beauty Bay. Um... Beauty Bay makeup before until I bought this palette and then I got some Beauty Bay um, lip liners and oh my god how beautiful I've never used them before they are, they are so stunning so I'm going to order some more the last thing I need to do is my lip and do do and my mascara and the lip liner I'm going to use today is the Morphe Sweetheart I am obsessed with this shade. This is beautiful. Like, 
beautiful. I literally never used to use lip liner and I don't know how I didn't use to use lip liner. So I don't have like the biggest of lips. I have used the shade Melting Matte by Too Faced in Sugar Cookie for my lips and I'm absolutely obsessed. For my lips gloss I have used the Fenty Beauty in the shade Footy and I just I'm obsessed with the way it looks it's just so beautiful and then the last thing Gara, and no one come for me for all the Too Faced products I'm using but like I said I need to venture out and get some new things um so the mascara I'm using is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and this is amazing so I'm just obsessed with this I have been obsessed with this since I, my friend got it me for Christmas for the first time and I've always used this I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just going to look in my little mirror. And it just makes your eyelashes so nice and long. The lovely facial expressions I pull. When I'm doing my mascara. And then just do my bottom lashes. <laughs> I'm not an eyelash girl either, like to wear eyelashes. I'd love to learn how to do eyelashes. So send me any links to any good eyelash videos to learn. Just because I am awful at eyelashes. Um, and I'm just going to give my hair a bit of a brush. Yeah. And this is my finished look. And this is my every, except for I've got like lipstick on my face there, which I probably do on a daily. Um, but yeah, this is my finished look. I hope you all like it. This is my everyday makeup routine. Um, so I will change out my eyeshadow colour and my lip colour probably daily. But if I am going for like wearing pinks, this is usually the sort of pinks that I go for. Like a ready pink with like a nude lip. Um, or sometimes I'll go for like a brown. So if you'd like to see me do a brown smoky eye everyday look, I will do. Um, I'll do that for another video. But yeah, this is the finished look. I am obsessed with it. I think my skin just looks so glowy with the um, highlighters that I've used. Um, so yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe and comment any recommendations, please. And if you have any recommendations on any skincare, makeup or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section down below. And let me know any also any other video ideas you'd like me to do. Um, I'd love to be able to do the one where I swap diets with Henry. He is obviously, honestly, got me a high peep. He's honestly the fussiest eater ever. So I'd absolutely love to be able to do a video where I swap diets with him. So um, like this video down below if you'd like me to do that video. And I'll show him and be like, hey, we're going to do it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Um.